Hello everyone, my name is Ranak and you are watching Vectoart. So in today's video, we'll take a look on how to create a simple weather app using a grid and a stack panel in WinUI 3. So without any further ado, let's get started. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. So let's start first by creating a new project. Make sure you have installed all the dependencies. If you haven't, please check out my previous videos. I have also explained how to install them. So let's select C Sharp, Windows, and on the third um, drop down, let's select WinUI 3 in the project types. Okay, once you do that, I have the blank app package template. So let's select that and click on next. Let's give this project a name. Let's rename it as weather app and let's click on create. So if you see the dependencies, uh, some of the packages are not loaded yet. So let's wait for the packages uh, to restore. And it's done now. Okay. So next, let's run this app and see if uh, there are any errors before we start designing the app. So it works fine. Let's uh, close the window. And let's start defining our uh, design. So to define uh, the window, let's first start by defining a grid. So in XAML, a grid is made up of series of rows and columns. So by specifying the rows and columns of an element within a grid, you can place and space other elements within a user interface. Rows and columns are defined with row definitions and column definition elements. So to start creating a layout on the uh, main window, uh, XAML, uh, we can start adding a grid. Let's uh, add some column definitions. Uh, and add width and let's add some row definitions uh, and for the rows I believe I have to uh, change it to height instead of width and let's run the application Okay, um, there is an error and that error is because I had removed the XAML, but I did not remove the code behind. So next, let's uh, start adding the borders. So to color the grid, to color the grid, we add three border elements, each with different background colors. Each is also assigned to a row and column in the present grid by using grid.row and grid.column attribute. The values of these attributes default to zero, so you don't need to assign them to the first border and the following code to the grid element after the row and column definitions. So you can see this and if you see now we have the color for the uh, each uh, grid element uh, that we had. So these are the rows and columns that we have in our uh, grid and we have colored them using the border. So let's stop this. Next is to organize content by using stack panel elements. So to uh, stack panel is the second UI element we'll use to create our weather app. The stack panel is a fundamental part of many basic app layouts, allowing you to stack elements vertically and horizontally. In the following code, we create two stack panel elements and fill each other with three text blocks, add the stack, stack panel elements to the grid uh, below the border elements. This causes the text block elements to render on top of the colored grid we created earlier. So once we are done adding these text blocks, in the first stack panel, we each tech, uh, text block stacks vertically below the next. This is the default behavior of a stack panel. So we don't need to set the orientation attribute. But in the second stack panel, we want the child elements to stack horizontally from left to right. So we set the orientation attribute to horizontal. We must also set the grid dot column span attribute to two so that the next so that uh, so that the text is uh, centered over the lower border. 
so now if you run the app now you will see something like this so let me finish uh, doing the minor adjustments so here if you see yeah so the minor adjustments are done. so now if I run the application you will see the text stacked but uh, here you will see that our uh, degree special character temperature uh, is not rendered properly so let's add uh, the name property to all the text blocks and load that uh, text from the code behind so let's use the uh, text block name dot text property and set the um, text from the code behind and in a real world scenario uh, you will be setting these values from the code behind um, this is just I am just uh, adding the text in the code behind but uh, you can use a better uh, design pattern to achieve this so I have used this uh, uh, special characters to uh, load the um, degree char special character on the UI so we have it now next uh, is to add an image icon so finally let's fill the empty section in our grid with an image that represents today's weather something that says partially cloudy so download the image and save it as png uh, in the solution explorer right click on the asset folder and select add existing item find partially cloud.png uh, that you have downloaded from the uh, browser and then next in the window.xaml add the um, image element below the stack panel and set the source as asset slash the partially cloud.png file so once that is done because we want the image in the first row and the column we don't need to set its grid row or column attributes allow them to default to zero and that's it you have successfully created the layout for a simple weather application if you run the application by pressing F5 you will see something like this if you like try experimenting with the layout above and explore with different ways you might represent weather data hope you all liked watching this video if you do please 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 do subscribe to my channel it means a lot thank you bye bye